too many patients, often the poorest and most vulnerable, are not getting the drugs and vaccines they need, simply because they do not exist, are not adapted for the conditions required, or are too expensive. For many diseases, the medical innovation system is not working, notably at the beginning of the research and development process. The barriers to identify entirely new and promising compounds begin to show. Because there is no lucrative market, there is no incentive to develop these drugs. Working with many partners like pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies, today DNDI is identifying promising new compounds to develop effective drugs by searching through segments of their partners' vast compound libraries and testing them against infected cells. But working in this bilateral way, with limited capabilities and limited access, means only a small amount of compounds are screened to find what we call a hit, the compound with initial promising results. And afterwards, DNDI may have to spend considerable time and money to buy, or make through chemical synthesis, new compound structures to improve on the original hit. Now imagine if that one library could be more thoroughly screened. Imagine if the library was bigger still, removing the need to purchase or create new compounds. Imagine the initial process of finding a new compound was not only quicker and cheaper, but the end result ultimately more effective. The Drug Discovery Booster is an experiment in innovation and collaboration between several pharmaceutical companies working together through DNDI as a consortium to achieve just this. As before, the same hit is sent to each consortium member as the seed for growing into a collection of related molecules, a chemical series. But now there are several libraries, with each member looking simultaneously for similar, yet potentially better structures than that of the seed. Duplicates are removed and the collection refined, then tested blindly by the biology lab, and the results returned to DNDI. The single compound producing the best results becomes the new seed, and the process is repeated up to three times as the series grows and expands. Not only is the consortium cutting the time frame by at least half, but the quality of the hit and the series to which it belongs is greater due to the increased amount of information that went into its creation. No one, except the consenting owners of each new seed, knows where they originated, but all partners will share in the reward of success. As there is no intellectual property barrier, DNDI and anyone willing to help further develop the chemical series, which is the outcome of the booster, will be able to develop a new drug, and then produce and distribute the eventual new treatment for all endemic countries. We're excited about this experiment. If it works, we hope it reveals another avenue to creating the drugs of tomorrow, today by reducing the time and cost of development and accelerating patient access to life-saving drugs.